Hey, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make this sort of sci-fi space astronaut kind of hovering scene in space. And we're going to be making it in Blender 2.81 and we're going to be using the EV um, rendering engine. Um, so to get started, before we go anywhere further, what you need to do is download two things from the internet. So number one is going to be this astronaut guy and full credits to the creator. This is on BlendSwap. If you don't have an account, it's free to create. And then the other image we're going to have to download is this one from Shutter, um, Pixabay. Um, it's free to download. And so both of these items are free and we're going to need them for the tutorial. And that's about it. So let's get right into this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please subscribe and hit the like button. So with a new scene opened up in Blender, we're going to go ahead and delete everything in our scene. And we're going to start by adding a mesh object. So we're going to go Shift A, Mesh, and we're going to add a circle. And I'll just quickly enable my screencast keys for you guys. So there we go. Now you can see the buttons I'm pressing down here. So with this um, circle created, we're going to make sure, let's just go in our front view. So yep, we're going to want to rotate it on the X. So go R, X, 90. So we're in edit mode and we're rotating it 90 degrees. And we're going to tab out of edit mode. And here we have our sphere. So what we're going to do is go and to our um, array modifier here. We're going to go add modifier. And let's add our array modifier. And by default, it's going to be one up here. So we want to make that negative. Then we want to go down and make this value here 7.8. Um, at the moment, you're not going to see anything because what we need to do is go into edit mode, go E to extrude on the Y, and we're going to extrude about that much. And then we're going to select all the vertices, and then we're going to go X and right click to let go. And then we're going to go Alt S and we're going to just scale it in like this. And then we're going to go E again, right click to let go. And then we're going to go S Y and we're going to scale it in like so. Then we're going to go tab out of edit mode, go to our materials tab, and we're going to create a new material. And we'll just call this one base. And we'll make it blue. And just to see the material, I'm just going to go to Material Preview. So there we go. We can see our material here. And then we're going to create another material. So hit the plus, New. And we're going to make this one an emission. So just type E for emission. And we're going to make the color something like that. And set the value to 3 over here to strength. And then we're going to tab into Edit Mode. And with these um, faces here still selected, or these vertices, just go and Assign. And we'll call this one Glow. So that's what we have, a very simple kind of shape here. Um, not much complicated modeling and two simple materials. And let's just throw a uh, subdivision surface on that. Beautiful. And what we can do is under our array modifier, let's just make the count 7. And we can play around with that later. And then we can go to our front view. And our front orthographic, go Shift A because our cursor is in the center there, and go camera. And then we're gonna take the camera, G, Y, pull it back a bit. And we're gonna to go to our aspect ratio here. Um, sorry, our um, camera settings, and under our focal length, we're gonna make it 12. So we want a really um, small focal length here. So if we go into edit mode, um, in camera mode, we can see here, this is what we get. So you see, the more I drag that, the more of a zoom we get. So this is 12 to 16 would be okay for this. And your settings might be a little bit different depending on how you've got things set up. So I'm going to go with something like this. I'm going to hit G, middle mouse wheel, to bring my camera in a bit. And if we go to our render settings, this is what we'll see at the moment. But let's just go to our camera tab here, click on it. We're going to go down, enable ambient occlusion. Let's enable Bloom, that's a really important one, and also Screen Space Reflections. And what we can also do is go to our World Settings. We're just going to make this color here black, all the way down to black. And so far you can see this is looking pretty awesome, but at the moment you're only seeing the glow because we have to add a light. So what I'm going to do is go to Solid View, Shift A, we're going to add a lamp, we're going to make it a sun lamp. I'm going to hit G to move it about here and just rotate it. And you can mess around with this as much as you want. 
Um, I'm just going to go to my light settings. I'm going to give it a value of 5. And I'm going to make it slightly blue, like so. So if we go into our render settings now, we're going to see we can now it's now visible to us. And what we can also do is just with our sphere here selected, our circle, go to object and just make it smooth shading. That'll clean that up a bit. And that's looking pretty cool so far and that was not very hard to do. But um, one thing we can also do is go get that image that I told you guys about on Pixab um, Pixabay. And uh, one way I like to do it is just to go Shift A, go to Mesh, and you could also use the um, import images as planes if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do it like this, go R, X, 90. And then we're just going to roughly scale it to about the dimension of the photo. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then G, Y, just move it back to here and then scale it up. So go into your camera view and just scale it up like that. And that's massive, but it doesn't really matter. This isn't an animation or anything. We're just making a image. So then we're going to tab into edit mode with that plane selected. We're going to go U and we're just going to go project from view. And then if we go to our UV editing settings and we also just go to our materials, new material, let's just call it space. And then we're going to go down to our base color, click on this little tab here and we're going to go to image texture, open and let's go to our desktop and just grab that image we downloaded earlier and open image. And you can see here, we have it there. So you might have to select it and just size it and move it around a bit. But if we go into our material preview, we can now see we have it unwrapped on there. So that's good. So let's go back to our layout. And if we hit render now, that is looking pretty awesome at the moment. Um, but there's a few more things we could probably do, like take this um, sun lamp here, and maybe just make it a value of two. Okay, that looks a lot better. And that's actually most of our work done at the moment. Now we just have to import our astronaut guy. So what I'm going to do is just go to my solid. And what we're going to do is append it. So we're going to go file. And once you've obviously downloaded the blend file, you're going to extract it and there's going to be a folder on your desktop. So you're going to go append. Go to your desktop wherever you saved the file. And here it is, astronaut emu suit rigged. So double click on that, and then we're going to go to astronaut, not blend, and we're going to go append. And then we're going to go to objects, and I'm just going to select everything in the scene. We're going to delete most of it anyway, and then go append. And it's going to have a think about it. So what I'm going to do is hit G with all of that still selected, and just move it to the side, like so. And then I'm going to just delete some of the stuff here. So the only thing I really want is the astronaut. And if you want to keep the rig with the astronaut, you can. Um, but I'm not going to be rigging, um, moving any of his limbs or anything. So I'm just going to select the rig here and the astronaut. And I'm going to hit G just to move him to the side, like so, for now. Then I'm going to just go C, select all this junk, and just go X, delete. And also this lamp came with it. Just delete it. Then I'm going to select the astronaut guy here. We're not going to be doing anything with materials or anything like that. And the reason is because um, it's just going to be, it's not really going to matter. So I'm just going to get, um, not even going to touch that. Let's just go to the modifiers. I'm going to turn off the armature. If you want to use it and kind of move them, you're welcome to do that. So I'm just going to disable the armature. And I'm also going to dis disable um, all the modifiers there. So I'm going to grab this rig. And then go G, and it's going to automatically move the astronaut with it because he's parented to that rig. So I'm just going to move him here. And like you can see, you can see here, I could have probably made this stuff bigger, but like I said, it's not an animation, so we're not too worried about the scale and size. Just trying to make a final result here. So I'm going to go move my astronaut guy into about here. And you have complete liberty to make this however you want, but I'm going to have a look at my original image. I want to have a pose like that. Maybe I'll make him a bit bigger, kind of rotate him. Um, that's looking pretty cool. Maybe you rotate him a little bit in like so. Let's have a look in the render, see what that looks like. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. So what's happening here with the materials? So just go to our materials tab. Okay, it just needed to update, that's all. So 
at the moment that's looking pretty cool, but what we can do to really just make this astronaut guy blend in is to add some spot lamps. So I'm going to move them here, then we're going to go shift A, we're going to go to our lights, I'm going to go to a... Oh, no, not a spot, a point, yeah. We want to go to uh, get a point lamp and we want to make it kind of blue and just increase the strength to about 29, move it here. If we go into our render view now, we can see this kind of like glow on the astronaut. And if you really want a nice effect, you can go shift duplicate and kind of move it wherever you want it. So I'm going to put one kind of behind him here to his right and shift duplicate, maybe one down here to the side a bit. It's looking pretty cool. And what I might also do is just grab that sun lamp we originally created. And I'm just going to bring the strength down to one. Give that a shot. I guess I'm really happy at the moment with that. It's looking pretty cool. I might make this a little bit of a different kind of blue, maybe a bit of a pinkish purple. Mm, something like that. Yeah, like I said, it's completely up to you to make this look as awesome as you want. Um, I'm gonna go there. I might grab this here, the original loops we created, go to my glow, and I might just bring the glow down to two. It's a little bit too intense. Okay, that's looking good. So now you can pretty much just do a test render. So let's go render image. And there we go. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. It was easy to do. And another thing you can do just to kind of play around with this is go to your rendering settings here and under bloom, this is where it gets really awesome. So you can just take the threshold, you can increase it or decrease it. Um, you can also try messing around with the radius. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just go with something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope you make something cool with it. If you do, um, share it on um, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, wherever you post your stuff and um, see you guys next time.